some pet owners may have bit off more than they could chew. That's why Cardboard Profits made this pop-up pet pantry. It's also why this pantry that was filled just this morning is already empty. That this pantry gets used a lot, okay? It gets stocked and used, and sometimes it's really hard to keep it stocked because people do need supplies, and pets are critical to mental health. Those mental health benefits can range from less stress or more exercise, but it's the companionship that may matter most. So even the homeless have pets, and sometimes they can't, they can't take care of them. And so one of the things that we help them with is by supplying food for them so they can keep their pets. The National Coalition for the Homeless estimates that 10% of homeless people have pets, in many cases offering them a true sense of companionship that may be hard to give up. Um, I've had people I've tried to get off the street into housing, and once they find out that they got to surrender the pet into a, a foster home or a shelter for the animal, while they go into shelter to get their life together, they sit there a lot of times, probably 99% of the time, they'll say, you know what, I will, I will do what I have to do to take care of my pet. I will not surrender them. A tough choice to make for pet owners living in financial hardships and a big reason why this pet pantry can make such a difference. Just come drop it off, and the thing that we ask is that you check the dates on it, don't put any outdated things in there, um, and make sure that it's not contaminated. In Mason, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Hannah McElroy, Fox 47 News.